Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Champ Chris, and in this video, I'll be showing you all the tips and tricks I know about playing Princess Leia, so be sure to stick around. Alright, so first off, let's take a look at her statistics. She has a base health of 650, which is a very average number for the light side. Her speed is also the most average it can get across all heroes in the game. She uses her Defender Pistol as her weapon, which fires off two rounds per every shot. Each shot does 40 damage, making it 80 in total, just like Han Solo's DL-44. Let's go ahead and take a look at her star cards. I recommend equipping Relentless Firing, Laser Brain, and For the Rebellion. Relentless Firing allows Leia to use her Rapid Fire ability longer, which can be especially useful in close range to lightsaber wielder enemies. I had a hard time choosing between this and Rebel Heart, which makes her take less damage while in a rapid fire ability, so either are fine to choose. Next, we have Laser Brain. This star card allows her secondary fire to do even more damage. This can be especially helpful in Galactic Assault to help take out special force troops. I don't find many situations where I have to use her secondary fire in HVV, but when there is someone blocking incoming fire at them, this star card will help them take them out quicker. Lastly, we have For the Rebellion. This is exactly like Luke's Cleansing the Darkness Invader's Dark Lord Star cards. It allows you to gain 20 health for every defeated trooper and at the epic level, 80 for every hero kill. Getting 20 hit points back from every trooper you defeat in Galactic Assault can really start to add up. Although, if you never play HVV, I don't recommend equipping this or upgrading it. Upgrading it only increases the amount of health you get back from killing heroes. Killing troopers, however, stay the same. If you don't want to equip this card, I highly suggest putting in Rebel Heart. If you already had that in, then put in Relentless Firing. Now on to some strategy. When approaching one or more enemies, do the same you would with Han Solo. Throw your flash grenade to start out with, then keep firing your defender pistol, and evade when necessary. When you're facing lightsaber characters that are experienced at duels and they start evading along with you, your best bet would be to try to roll behind the player and get off a headshot or two. This strategy is greatly improved with throwing your flash grenade at the enemy first, since they'll have no idea where anything is, if it was an accurate throw. Also, don't evade too much at one time. Evading is comparable to Maul's or Luke's spin attack. You can only do a certain amount before it has to recharge. Of course, the recharge time is nowhere near as long as the spin attacks, but it can certainly leave you just walking for way too long, which means an easy target for any enemy. This is something I've had to practice at. It can be hard not to spam the evade button, but it'll certainly help you win the duel if you evade conservatively. Anyways, when up close to the action, it's a good idea to use Leia's rapid fire ability. I don't recommend using it when you're being targeted by enemies because of the animation time, but if you can get up close to a lightsaber wielder, then you should be able to rack up some pretty decent damage. And for her last ability, the Squad Shield, most of the time this is only useful in Galactic Assault. Very rarely will you have the chance to place this down in HPV, so unless if you only like to play her in Galactic Assault, then you won't be using this ability much. The only tips I have it for using in HPV is when you're trying to run away and get away from the action so ranged enemies can't shoot at you, or when your team doesn't suck and actually sticks together in an area, which from what I've experienced doesn't happen often at all. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more like this. I'll see y'all in the next one.